question is to Pallav Nidhani sir. Uh, so what is your message for young aspiring entrepreneurs? So first thing is uh, if you're trying to start up something, be absolutely sure that you believe in it. It's something which you need to be, as Robin said, like every morning when you wake up, that's the only thing you should think about. If you have to work 48 hours or 76 hours straight on it, even after doing all that work, you should still feel that there's so much more to be done. If you believe in that idea and then you put the scientific uh, methodology behind it like validating the market or uh, figuring out like who's going to buy this idea, why is this uh, person who could be my potential customer would pay me money and how much money can he pay me. So all the scientific validation comes in later. But I think the most important thing is you have to be really, really, really passionate about it and believe in it through, uh, throughout. Your question is uh, good. I'm going to ask two more panelists to actually add to your question. So, uh, Pavan, would you like to respond to that as well? And Shruti as well. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Um, can I get one of those hand mics, please? Because <laughs> I'm, I f I'm from theater, so I find it very restricted to sit on stage and speak. So, I'd like to be a little theatrical in what I'm doing. <laughs> Thank you for that. Well, having the freedom, keep a watch on the clock uh, as well, Pawan. Yes, yeah, you could <laughs> say ping and stop. I uh, actually wanted to answer his question as well, so I sure, asked, sure. Um, because I understand where he's coming from sure. uh, when he says a uh, middle class family trying to you know, let you do something. Why don't you sit down? Yeah, please. I will, yeah. Um, actually, it's, it's going to answer yeah, both sure, the questions. Sure. Yeah, so yeah. I come from something similar when I said I'm going to quit my engineering and go into a uh, creative field. I was taken to three psychiatrists for counselling and <laughs> I've actually gone through that and uh, what Robin said that you tell it to your family and they'll push you into it, that doesn't happen because you're, you're fi I, don't, I don't know, you probably had that cushioning, I didn't have that and I know many don't have it. So the family will tell you, no, no, please get into Infosys, get into, you know, get into an IT job, get, get good, good salaries and, uh, but you have to be really mad, you have to be it and uh, that's what I did. I went to my final exam uh, in my second, in my fourth semester in engineering and in my answer paper I wrote, this is my last exam in my life, I won't, I won't bloody write any more exams and uh, so uh, and trust me, uh, I, I, I know that when you, when you're from a middle class family, the priority is to earn your monthly salary uh, to be able to afford uh, uh, rental and everything. So uh, your parents love you and my parents love me so much that they had to take me for counselling. Uh, <laughs> uh, but uh, you should understand that they don't mean harm and you have to stand up for what you dream, for what you want. And uh, do friends help you? Do teachers help you? Does the family help you? Trust me, they don't because they think you're getting spoiled. You know, uh, I mean cricket, I'm sure 11 people in an entire Indian population get that. So. Uh, the first question is, will you be the 11, you know, will you be there in that 11, you are, come on, you can't be that, you know. So that's what they, they push you into. In, at least uh, uh, cricket is sport, it's individual talent, but when we, come, when we come to filmmaking or anything, every example that you see is some star's son, some producer's son, so immediately somebody at the middle class will say, you can't be in that, you can't do it. So I was pushed, I was completely pushed. Uh, so much that let's say, let's say this is where you want to reach and how much you can get pushed, you can get pushed to reach down here and let's say I sit down and below this I can't go anymore, you know, so this is it <laughs> and uh, so you get pushed so much that you, you stay here and uh, you get enough time to think, you know, because people above are very busy, they can't see you. <laughs> and. <laughs> So you get enough time to be with yourself, to know where you want to go up. And trust me, right now you're all seeing me and not them, because my life here is interesting, it's dramatic. So when I climb up, it gets a lot more dramatic. Yeah. You know, so... <laughs> well done, well said, well said. So I would say that enjoy the process of climbing up. Uh, don't be up there at 20, don't be up there at 21. You know, be here at 30, enjoy those 10 years to <laughs> climb up and uh, that's my answer for entrepreneurship as well. Uh, you know, it took me 30 years to actually uh, come and speak like this. 
uh, however my uh, dad used to put me into this public speaking uh, uh, competitions in school and uh, since my 5th grade till 10th grade every year it used to happen once and i didn't win even a single competition <laughs> and uh, the the uh, the public speaking prize would go to the first rank student all the time and uh, trust me today that first rank student is sitting in a cubicle and i'm here so thank you good thank you for two line two words persistence space persistence space